Oh, my phone fits right on the dashboard. I just want to show you, I can't show you, but these are residual income checks from Amazon that come in every single month. And um, Amazon services for KDP, Kindle Books, and then there's another one that comes in from acxaudible.com. Uh, these are actually pretty small checks. One is 122.82, and the other one's 103.37. At times, they've been 300, 400, 750, and uh, I'm making this video to share with you that you can do the same thing. And how did I do this? Uh, through creating and writing books. I had this amazing observation, this thing that hit me today, and it was that. Oh yeah, yeah. So I was on the phone with my buddy DJ Carroll. He's like a 29-year-old millionaire, lives in Kentucky. You probably hear me talk more about him in the future, but he was saying that you go in these 36-month cycles in your life, right? And that's like about three years is where you're a new person every 36 months. You go in these cycles where you set your target on these ambitions, and then you achieve them, and then you move on. And I'm like, oh my God, that's true. Like every three years, you know. So. I realized this whole authorship thing, like Dr. Wayne Dyer, before he died, he wrote like he wrote like 43 books or something. And these people that write books and becoming an author, and you know, there's many, many ways to make money. But I've always wanted to be an author. My dream is to be a best-selling author, and it's gonna happen. But let's talk about this. So, if you write a book at least every three years. This is really, really, really important for your, your personal growth and your professional growth and development and for the value that you create and add to the world uh, because you're taking a compilation and a collection of everything that's been going on in your work world and your life and your research and development and study and then you're condensing it down into a very organized, an actual book. It's your body of work. I have to yell because I want to get my fucking message out. I have a lot of uh, ambition. Okay, Your body of work. You, you're afraid to go out there and start crushing it and doing public speaking and launching online courses. Do all the shit that you see these millionaire fucking gurus do. But you, if you create your body of work... Then you go out and you do it. Like, just like a, like a famous artist or Led Zeppelin or Aerosmith, any of these fucks, they go in the, in, the, in the studio for a year or two and they create 100 songs, but like 12 songs are really, really good. And then like a couple of them become these smash hits, right? Now they got their album, it's done. Right? Not everything you do is going to be a smash hit, but you, your album is done. And now they go on tour for like six straight months. Sometimes they go on tour for years just doing that one album, promoting, promoting, and, and doing the show, singing the same songs over and over and over and over and over. Now when they're done, they take a break, and then they come back, and now they go into quiet, they go into hiding again, and then they create their next masterpiece, their next album, their next body of work, right? And then they, when they go out, they might be singing songs from their other albums, but for you, that might be like a book, right? So when you write a book, you spend all this time, you can write the book, it's paperback, whatever ebook audiobook it's all done now you got an online course around it and all these things you're selling on amazon and kdp and kimball and great space and all that but now you go out and you go do uh you go on circuit and you you do a tour and now you go on like 20 podcast shows or you travel the country you go on talk shows and radio shows and you make a bunch of videos and you do this whole big launch and you spend all this time talking and reflecting back to the body of work which is your book right have you ever noticed some of these authors they write these books and like everything you need to know is right in the book and the book's like 10 20 30 bucks it's all in the book right but when you're done with that whole chapter of your life and you've got all that out boom that's a chapter that's a there's a book there's everything your body of work as an influencer coach seminar leader entrepreneur now you start your next book your next body of work right and I'm thinking about that I just finished my third book right and now I'm moving on to my fourth but I'm about to go on tour I'm fucking ready dude I just I just counted I have 21 people working for me directly or indirectly whether it's full-time part-time or just a virtual assistant or somebody that does something here and there is it like graphic design 21 people I want to do $50,000 a month and we're getting ready for a product launch.
right now. So I just I hired a project manager. She's helping me get all this together. I've been stuck in a laptop for seven hours today and I'm getting ready to go get a massage because my whole neck is in pain. I'm just, so much fucking shit to do, dude. I'm fired the fuck up. Signing these checks. You know, I really like the whole Think and Grow Rich book. When you organize your desires into definite goals, plans, strategies, and execute on them into definite, tied around a definite purpose, that's how you become successful. You have to get the shit out of your head and organize it to a list and start taking action in the real world. Your relationship to the unknown, which is I mean you're, you're being afraid of the unknown and afraid to do things you've never done before because you're afraid it'll fail, you're afraid it won't work. Your relationship to getting comfortable to doing things, the unknown, that's what's going to make the difference. Alright, i got to deposit this. Later.